Hey campers, there's something that uh, we all tend to do sometimes and I've seen a lot of it in the comments that have come into videos that I posted. Now, keep in mind most of my videos are talking about choosing a perspective of life that brings life, that we actually find life and love, that there's hope, there's a future. So that's the main message and what comes back is, is a lot of what I would call arguing for your own weaknesses. And I do that too. Uh, what it looks like is we resist messages of hope and we argue that our limited situation, the things that have happened to us, um, the circumstances that we're in, how we're damaged, how we're sick means that, gosh, there's just absolutely no hope or no future for us. And I see it happen as if looking at a trial court appearance, whether it's on TV or uh, whether it's real or it's fictional, you see the defendant in the box, you see the judge, and then you see the prosecuting attorney. And I see a lot of you guys acting like a prosecuting attorney against yourself, and you're arguing all the reasons why you your, yourself, the defendant, is guilty, is a slime ball, has made mistakes, deserves the worst punishment possible. And then I also see you as the judge slamming down the gavel saying guilty. So you're the prosecuting attorney, you're the judge, you're the defendant, and you're literally killing yourself and saying, nope, I own these weaknesses, I own this failure, I own that I am a piece of dirt and I need to be done with. So what's up with that? You know, who taught you to think so terribly about yourself? And why would you allow that to happen? Well, here's what I'm proposing to you is in that courtroom which by the way is happening inside your head and inside my head we're constantly talking to ourselves we're constantly evaluating and making judgments and criticizing it's what happens so why not in that courtroom be the defending attorney and why not come up with being a friend to yourself I mean you have been beaten up by things that have happened in life. You have taken hits. You have made mistakes and paid the consequences for those mistakes. You may be living under those now. But why not choose to be a friend to yourself? Why not argue for your strengths? Why not defend against those weaknesses? Like, well, you know, the defendant here was doing the very best they knew how with what they had at the situation. It pays to learn how to be compassionate to yourself. It pays to learn how to cut yourself a break. It pays to learn how to cut other people a break. Because we all need a break. Because we all do blow it. And most of the time we aren't intentionally evil trying to cause some pain. We're trying to get our needs met. We're trying to deal with the pain and the confusion that we are wrestling with. So, you know, I say acquit the defendant. And, you know, the judge in your own mind you don't have to give the terrible sentence to yourself. You don't have to beat yourself up. So please stop arguing for your weaknesses because when you argue for your weaknesses, you own them. Please stop being such a mean person to yourself because when you are your own worst enemy, there's no escape from that and it's just going to be a downward spiral until the end. You can reverse that cycle. You can change the relationship you have with yourself. You can change the thoughts that you think and what you say to yourself and what you choose to believe. I'm telling you that you have a lot more purpose and potential and power than you even sniffed at yet. And you are needed in this world. You are needed to come alive and to thrive. And so until you stop being so mean to yourself, that's not going to happen. Until you stop um, grabbing on to a limiting mindset that says it's impossible for you to change, it's impossible for good to come out of your life, you're not going to go anywhere. So you do have that power of choice. You can't save yourself. But I believe that you can be a friend to yourself and make more positive decisions. And the one who is, the one who does save us all, can then get a clean shot at helping us heal. But you've got a partner in your own healing. So my hope and prayer is that you will open up and do that. All right. God bless you. Thanks. Bye.